Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do a color bleeding effect on Blender. What that is, is um, to give an example, is here's a light and the light is shining down onto this wall and reflecting off it onto the object casting a little bit of its color. You'll see that in real life in a lot of places where, for example on paper, if you put your pen down on paper, a little of the pen's color blends into the paper. It's called color bleeding. Now to fake this in the Blender game engine without scripts is really easy. You can also use a script for this, but I don't exactly know any OpenGL or Python, so I wouldn't be any good at that, and besides Blender isn't very optimized for running scripts in real time, it's very slow when it comes to that, so you're probably just better off using lamps, so I'm just going to show you how to set it up. Uh, all you need is a wall, I'm not going to go ahead and model a new one, it's not very hard, it's just, all this is is just a flat mesh with a texture put on it and all you want to do is add a spot lamp, so go ahead and add a spot lamp Oops. I'm going to bring it up about to the middle of the wall and rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees and turn the specular off, you only want the diffuse now put the energy down to 0.3 and the distance to 1 now you want to bring the light right up against the wall, not in it, just up against, and put shadow to no shadow. Now I'll change the spot size to 180 and put the blend to 1 all the way. Now I'll bring the object here a little closer and I'll make this a bit bigger, you can set the distance to 3. Alright, now you want to change the color of the lamp to the color of your wall, so that's red. So, here we go and if it's not quite right for you then you can just muck around with the settings and the placement of the lamp so that's basic color bleeding in blender thanks for watching please subscribe if you have any questions comment and inbox me thank you